What's good YouTube, Make America Lit here, back with another NBA 2K24 video, and in today's video I have another episode of Rare Builds for you guys, as you can see on your screen. In today's episode, we are going to be creating a 3 and D threat, so let's just jump straight into the build. Now obviously you could make this guard or, you know, a wing build if you want, you can make this at the 1, the 2, or the 3. Me personally, I went with the shooting guard, uh, just because I play rec. And if you're like me and you play record light, you know that if you make a two, a lot of times you get put at the three. And if you make a small forward, a lot of times you get put at the power forward position. And a power forward really isn't going to be doing a lot of dribbling and stuff. So you're not going to really be able to take advantage of the, the, the defense that this build has. So if you really want to take advantage of the defense that this has build, uh, this build has and that, you know, you're going to be playing on ball defense a lot. You want to make this at the shooting guard position so that you get put at the two or the three when you play record or pro-am um otherwise if you make it as small forward you, there's going to be games where you get put at small forward but there's also going to be a lot of games where you get put at the power forward position so me personally i just like to shoot for shooting guard if i do want to play shooting guard and small forward you know so uh just keep that in mind when you're making your build um height weight and wingspan can vary but i wanted to get uh 99 still so i had to go with six seven unfortunately um but it is what it is. 6'7", it's not bad height to have because not only will you be able to get like a 99 still you will also be able to unlock uh, anchor on bronze at the minimum. So you want to be somewhere around 6'7", or maybe a little bit taller. Solely up to you. You can tweak these how you like. This is just what I went 6'7", 7, 7'4", 7, wingspan with 194 pounds. Just for my purposes only. You know, you can tweak this how you like. This is just what I went with. And then of course these are the attributes I went with. Now the first thing you you're going to notice on this build is that I'm committing the cardinal sin that I tell you guys on all of these build videos and that is you don't want to be one dimensional you need to try to stay as far away from being one dimensional as possible and as you can see here this build doesn't really have any type of finishing it has a 61 close shot and that was just what I could manage to eke out as I was like trying to carve this build up um, you do have that 40 standing dunk, which we try to reach to get those standing dunk animations. You have a 50 driving dunk, so you will be able to dunk the ball. Not like you're going to have crazy dunking animations or you're going to be catching posters or anything like that, but you will have enough driving dunk to dunk. You will have the 40 standing dunk to get the standing dunk animation, so you will be able to dunk the ball on this build. But you'll see that the layup is really low and the close shot is kind of low. 61 close shot, you will be able to make shots underneath the basket standing layups, but you're not going to be posting up, throwing hooks shots and stuff like that with a 61 close shot we know that but we have just enough finishing to where we could finish you know we could get a dunk or a standing dunk animation or whatever you're not going to really be playing around in the finishing area in the paint or anything like that because you're three and d and that's what we're going to be doing shooting threes and playing defense okay now moving on to the shooting we have a 72 mid-range and a 79 three ball now that 79 three ball is going to unlock all of these shooting badges for us you see here majority of these badges on silver if you got a decent jump shot you know your jump shot you also take into consideration that you're going to be shooting with a minimum of bronze dimer as well as the boost that you're going to have from these silver badges that 70 9-3 is probably going to feel more like an 84, 85, 3, somewhere around there. And then, of course, that 72 mid-range is going to benefit from these badges as well. Blinders, Green Machine, Comeback Kid, you know, Open Looks. All of these badges that we're unlocking on the three-point level is going to also benefit our mid-range shot. So we're not too concerned about only having a 72 three ball, which is also going to help us unlock that Silver Midi Magician. But we'll also get the boost from like Comeback Kid, Guard Up, Spot Fight, all of these things on our mid range as well too that we're unlocking from the three so keep that in mind we also have a 90 free throw now those of you who play rec you know uh i ain't even got to explain the free throw situation if you don't play rec then don't even bother with the free throw put that down put that into something else but if you're like me and you don't got nothing else to throw it on anyway might as well throw it into free throw have a pretty decent free throw and have a good uh sh free throw shooting badge with free points on goal uh, moving on to the playmaking in this is the only real knock on this build besides the finishing is that this build has no playmaking whatsoever so please keep in mind when you make this build if you make it how i made it or even if you tweak it that this build has no playmaking you're going to be at the mercy of your teammates to get you looks you know you're going to be at the mercy of your teammates so this is a really good build to have when you're playing with your friends or you have a squad to play with where they'll feed you the ball you don't have to worry about oh i can't get open i don't have ball handle i can't dribble or whatever because your teammates are going to get you open they're going to see you on the backdoor cuts uh they're going to see you uh you know when you're wide open on the hash or in the corner so this this is really going to be more so for those type of players who are playing with friends 
or you don't mind being, you know, just that utility player. You're going to depend on your guards to score, you know, because you're not going to have any real playmaking or ball handling to get yourself open. Even with that being said, we still want to shoot for at least a 70 pass accuracy. I try to go 77 on all my builds, but this build, we was only able to get up to a 70. But even a 70 is still adequate, decent pass speed. You're going to have a bronze dimer, relay passer, special delivery, and break starter, which is most of the badges you need as far as passing. It would be nice to have needle threader, but, you know, we couldn't get it. It is what it is. But, you know, if you can tweak some things on your build, maybe take your free throw down, Maybe take, uh, you know, something on defense or your physicals down and you could get that up to that 77 threshold. That would be optimal. But obviously, you know, if we can't, then it is what it is. That 70 is just going to have to make do. And then moving on to the best part of the build, which is the defense. This is where this build shines at the most. You see that 72 interior defense with that 87 block at 67. We will be rocking a silver anchor with silver pogo stick and gold chase down artist, meaning that we will be able to play adequate defense in the paint. Uh, if we get beat off the dribble, we will be able to chase some shit down and halt players down thinking that they're just going to lay that shit up or dunk on us. Not today. Then we also have a 97 perimeter defense. And you see we're lit up on defensive badges. Straight Hall of Fame across the board pretty much. Uh, gold pick dodger and gold clamps are the only badges. And really, I had gold clamps and gold pick dodger. I had a 99 perimeter defense, but this build was lacking in so many areas that I had to come down to from that 99 to a 97. Unfortunately, I would have liked to have 99 perimeter and 99 still on this build. And if you don't mind having glaring holes in your build, you know, you can take your finishing off completely and take your pass accuracy down to like, I think like a 63, 64, somewhere around there, 65, something like that. If you do that, you will be able to have enough points to put perimeter defense on 99. But me personally, I think having gold clamps and gold pick dodger is suffice when you have all of these other badges, Hall of Fame, 94 feet, ankle braces, challenger, uh, fast feet, workhorse, and off ball pass. You're going to be an absolute menace defensively even with the 97 perimeter defense you're still going to be annoying as hell nobody's going to want to have to try to get open on you you know what i'm saying and then to bring this build all together defensively we also have a 99 steal so hall of fame glove hall of fame interceptor hall of fame right stick ripper for my locks who do use that right stick to reach you understand how ridiculous this build is going to go with Hall of Fame Glove and Hall of Fame Right Stick Ripper. It's not even going to be fair. It's really not. And then, like I already told you guys, that 87 block giving us Silver Anchor, Chase Down Artist, Pogo Stick. And then we also made sure to get a 60 defensive rebound because we are 6'7". We do have an 80 vertical, as you see right here on our physical. So that's 60 defensive rebound with the 80 vertical to go with our uh, 60 defensive rebound will get us Bronze Rebound Chaser. That paired with each other, we should be able to rebound you know adequately now honestly we're going to be at the two or the three so it's not going to be our job to primarily play defense and uh grab boards and stuff we're going to be on the perimeter mostly but having that 60 defensive rebound means that you will be able to pop out there and get those rebounds here and there if you need to help your big or your power forward to rebound maybe the power forward is on a shooter and he can't be in the paint maybe the center is on a shooter and he can't be in the paint and we only got the power forward in the paint now you can swing down there and help and grab a board or two with that 60 defensive rebound bronze rebound chaser and then finally our physicals and 80 speed 82 acceleration so we get that uh hall of fame fast speed of course and then we have a 74 strength you know, gold clamps, bulldozer, box out beefs, brick wall, movable enforcer. And then finally, that 80 vertical, like I mentioned earlier, to help with the blocks and the defensive rebound. And then that 99 stamina to bring the build all together. You see that we're going to unlock Hall of Fame 94 feet and Hall of Fame workhorse with that 99 stamina. And then, of course, you see the shades of, you see OG, you see Doug Christie, you see uh, Bridges. And of course, you'll see that we have built a 3 and D threat. So this is my 3 and D threat build with a 99 still for NBA 2K24. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K24 content. And of course, more rare builds like this. I'm out, y'all. Peace.